Seems Trabuco gets up to the top of the circle. Weak shot down low, got a bit of a tip on it. Trabuco back at the point. Some quick puck movement here from Amion. As they look at all their options, Smatch just about keeps it in. It's hammered across towards Trabuco, had to take it via the boards. A big check call coming from Noble, a huge hit from him. But got freed up as a result of that physical play, but Matima, Johnny on the spot, will retain possession for Amion. Trabuco, across the blue line, gets the puck back. Looks to shoot through traffic, just widening out on the rebound off the backboards. It's under Mika Vickman. And Noble, oh, gets a high cross check from one of the Amion forwards. And Justin Hashi comes in to play big brother. And Amion, I think they can kiss goodbye to their uh, power play here, Stu. Oh. Yeah, there's a, a little bit of both there. I think, we'll f I think we're going to end up seeing both guys ending up in the box here. And Amion will take over here. Here's Halley. Enters the zone, pulls up, and he will wait for his line mates to arrive. Sends it now to the point. Anderson winds up, cranks one down low. Rebound, bouncing in and around. It's come out, and Mika Vickman will stare at that one as it goes up into the netting. There's Kevin Noble, again, availing himself of uh, Philippe Halley's company and Halley relieving him of his stick. Yeah, just making friends and influencing people. Kevin Noble, year four, Coventry Blaze. Yeah. <laughs> it's backhanded round the boards again, off the shorts of Brennan's man. And Smatch will keep it in. The Blaze are imminently back to full strength. And another important kill for Coventry as Ainsworth tries to steal that one at the blue line, but it's given a chance for Amion. Mika Vickman will make a save. And there's some more pushing and showing. This time it's Matima and Ainsworth. And, well, I don't know whether the hotel that Amion slept in last night had uncomfortable bedding, but uh, clearly something's irritated them and the Coventry Blazer alike. Noble starts up, his pass comes off a skate and eventually Amiel will come into the zone. Trabuco, nice pass across, Edwards has space and Edwards scores! Only 12 seconds into the second period, Spencer Edwards had room on this right hand side and with a flick of the wrist beats Mika Vickman, he had a, a world of space, he could have bought land and built a house on the space he had, Stu. All five of the Blaze players have drifted over to the right-hand side of their defensive zone. Spencer Edwards here sat on the right wing as we're looking at it. He's got absolutely nobody near him and he's got time and space and you'd expect nearly any forward in the world to pick that shot and we'll get the goal there. And Amion will come away with possession. Look, sat down for Holden Anderson and he throws a blind one up the middle. Bruch will throw it to the net front and Louis Olive was arriving but a little late. The Blaze will have a three on two here if they can rush it. It's Ben Lake, sends one on the net, Savoir with a very handsome stick save into the netting. And we'll have another stoppage. Good uh, choice of shot there from Ben Lake. You see as the, uh, the play develops as they're making the breakaway here. Gets the puck. Quick one, two, but the passing lanes here, they're all taken off. So he's drifted wide, he's getting a good angle on the shot, but he's gone down low to try and force that rebound up into the netting or out back into the corner where he's go able to win that puck first. Yeah, it was superb um, rebound placement from Savoir. And you know, Amion got caught, oh, they're going to catch the blaze on a break here. Bruch in on the net, minor backhands and scores! An emphatic celebration from Baptiste Bruch. And Amion double their money and the Blaze look like they're starting another second period to forget against Legotique de Amioni. Strips that puck, gets speed on Clements and Lewis. And a simple little move on the breakaway, Stu, but it was effective. Trabuco will pick up that puck, thrown behind for Spencer Edwards. She tries to work it to the hash marks, he's got free hit, Edwards down low, blocked. And Kevin Morris lays the head for a tired looking Forbes. Padded away by Savoie. Big check comes in from Ben Lake. Puck with Ben Lake. Lovely feed across. Joyo sends it down low. Paulie shoots on the turnaround. Big rebound. Hammered towards the net and finished by Ferrara. And the physical play of the Blaze pays dividends. And the associate captain, Luke Ferrara. 
put his stick on the puck, guided it towards goal, and it beats Savoir under the pillows. So we look again. Just the deflection of the, the mass of bodies in front of Savoir there. Took it right onto Luke Ferrara's stick. He's able to just jam it home there with a couple of whacks to get the puck into the net. Bump comes in on Matima. Kevin Noble will hunt for this one in the corner. Gets all oh, crushed from behind. A poor hit from Matima. And he is... Uh, going to face Mr. Ben Lake and Mr. Justin Hashi in the corner for a, a bout of words of wisdom. Yeah, we see it here. Comes in from, oh, behind, yeah. from behind, up against the boards. That's not a good hit at all. And the Blaze rightfully come in. The puck's still in the corner. Guillemon gets checked by Venus. Venus with a B in his bonnet. Nicky Forrock somehow stays on his feet. Finds Hashi at the point. Hashi sends it down low. Hansen. Brinisven has his stick cocked. He will shoot one into the glove. Oh, Savoir! Trickled through him. From his perspective, the right side of the post. And, uh, well, it's a good job no one in a blue jersey was hanging around the cage as that would surely have been an equalizing goal. A hammer of a shot from Brinisven. Lake thought he had a bit of space and time it, it evaporated quickly as Ainsworth looks at the seams Joyo Hashi steps onto the puck shoots hard Savoy makes a save and again no rebound and there'll be some pushing and shoving in front of net as Ben Lake is well making himself very well known to Amion and six He's playing the game with a smile on his face. And you know when Ben Lake's playing with a grin, good things happen. And that'll be cleared away. Eventually, you feel, by Poudrier. But the Blaze get it in the neutral zone. Again, some good work from Coventry. They're just not able to get that shot past Savoir. Here's Brennisven. Sends it to the net for this. is a big look. And Ben Lake unable to again beat Lucas Savoir. He poked for the rebound of the referee. This tells Ben Lake to calm down a little. But again, it's Ben Lake who is in the thick of things tonight, Stu. Really is. Nice work from Brinson there. Looks in. That's a great a nice pass. Po nice, uh, nice pass. And then Ben Lake, forehand back. Backhand's a difficult chance there. Danny Stewart's telling his boys to play it. But it in, only into the hands of Amion. Smatch. Sends it wide of the net. Lawrence will try and get here ahead of Roman. He does, but a big shove from Jeremy Roman makes life difficult for Lawrence. 90 seconds left. Vickman will start to think about looking at the bench. He was very keen to get off of the extra skater last night. We'll have to wait a while as Giroud has taken possession. He has Roman heading to the net. Roman! Oh, it just squirted in front of him, and now Coventry. They're going to march it forward. Ferrara, lovely feed. Ben Lake's in. Ben Lake with some space! Ben Lake! And he deserves that. And quite frankly, the Blaze deserve that. And they tie it up. Just over a minute remaining in this one, Stu. And Ben Lake on the rush. Opened up some space here. Opened up some net there. And he finishes with a wonderful, wonderful wrister. Just a little bit of a stick handle there. Creates himself a little bit of space on his forehand. And that gives him the time to move the puck. Lovely pass from Ferrara across ice as well to find Blake. But really, it's an excellent shot to tie the game with just over a minute remaining. Face off at neutralised, won by the Blaze as well. Well, Mika Vickman won't have to worry about going to the net, uh, to the bench now anyway, he'll stay in net. Press on behind the goal. Off the boards, oh, Morris! Oh my goodness! A broken play gifts Kevin Morris. A Lucas Savoir stares at the bench. It just squirted off the boards to him. Morris was in the right place at the right time. And look at this. Bang! That's luck when you put yourselves in the right positions all game through. Kevin Morris doing the right thing there. We see as it comes out here on the replay, just put, comes off the board, just turns around, he just turns and swings at it and just finds the corner of the net there. 
excellent goal to put take the lead for the Coventry Blaze. Oh, it was a hammer. Thrown in by Joyo. Morris will throw a hit on the backboards on Anderson. And now it's Amion's turn who will find the clock against them. Hashi throws a lovely hip check. Nikiforak in there. The goalie's gone to the bench. Chance comes down low. Saved by Vikman. He's sprawling. The Blaze have got it. And they will clear it around the glass. Smatch will keep it in. Amion with 20 seconds left to retrieve something from this second game between these two. Giroud behind the net. Roman's in front with space. Can they find Raman? No, they cannot. And the Blaze will clear here. And the empty net might see this puck get in. And it does. And the Blaze have somehow, with what, one minute, three seconds remaining, scored three goals. And they will beat Amiens in the second leg of this doubleheader. And look at the big smile on the face of Justin Hashi as he rounds up the bench. 